Good afternoon. We are now on the units of pressure. Our, object, our objectives are define pressure and give the common units of pressure. De describe nature of gases through kinetic molecular theory. So first, what is pressure? The pressure is defined as force applied per unit area. Okay, the SI unit of pressure is Pascal. Ray in 1 Pascal is equal to 1 Newton per square meter. Okay, so as the gas particles, okay, so may pile of electricity of a balloon, and then merong isang gas particle, may bilog, okay, may, may maliit na bola, tumama sa container. Pag tumatama sa container yan, may force na ina-apply dun sa area. Okay? Ng balloon. And then, okay, so, and, so when we say pressure, anything na nag apply ng force sa isang area, okay, nakaranas ng force yung area na yun, meaning nag-exert ng pressure yung object na yun, yung something na yun. Okay? So, here we have the gas particles. So, we have the SI unit of pressure is 1 Pascal is equal to 1 Newton per square meter. We have the Blaise Pascal. So, sa kanya, sa kanya in-associate. Okay, attributed sa kanya yung pressure. Okay, yung Pascal na unit. So, how did they come up with 1 Pascal is equal to Newton per meter per square meter? Okay, we have your velocity. Okay, we, since we know that it's a pressure, initially there is a velocity there. So, velocity is equal to meter per second. And if we put this velocity, yung letter V dito, yung naman, the meter per second over T, so that would be times reciprocal over T, which will be acceleration, the meter per second squared. And then, if we put acceleration here, meter per second per Okay, per second square. We can see here, ito siya, acceleration. And then, si mass is 1 kilogram, which is also equal to 1 newton. So, 1 newton is equal to 1 kilogram meter second square. Ayan, may kita nyo. Which is also force. Kanya sabi nga natin, force over applied. Okay, first applied per unit area. So, force. May kita naman natin dito na same with the newton, so 1 newton and over square meter area we know that area could be square centimeter okay. but here we have square meter because it's as a unit so one, 1 pascal is equal to 1 newton per square meter now, we have this atmospheric pressure aka ATM it is the pressure exerted by Earth's atmosphere the denser the air is the greater pressure it exerts and also, kapag mas malapit tayo sa core, is mas mataas yung pressure kasi mas na-attack sa gravity. So, atmospheric pressure simply the pressure in, at, in our atmosphere. Kung nasan tayo ngayon, nag-exert yan ng pressure. Hindi din lang natin masyado na naramdaman kasi hindi ganun kalakas. But may mga gas particles na tumatama sa atin. Okay, so, there, that is atmospheric pressure. We're exerting atmospheric pressure. The weight of column, okay, the weight of the column of air above it. Okay, it values vary depending on the location, temperature, and weather conditions. So, the pi by atmospheric pressure based on these factors. Now, how, how they were able to uh, measure the pressure? So, we have this evangelizatory cell. Okay, may ginawa siyang instrument na barometer. Okay, the standard atmospheric pressure, the standard atmospheric pressure, 1 atm is equal to 1 atmospheric pressure is equal to 760 millimeter mercury. The millimeter mercury unit is also known as TOR. So, makita natin dito, ang ginawa is parang may glass tube and then may mercury sa isang petri dish, isang container, like glass container. And then, make sure niya yung tube na yun, yung glass tube na yun is walang any gas particles na nasa loob, walang oxygen, walang carbon dioxide, walang nitrogen, walang kahit na ano, vacuum. And then, he put, okay, bago niya ilagay yun, yung man ang ginawa niya. And then, if after niya make sure na wala ng mga gas particles doon, okay, maybe nilagay niya sa isang 
container din para matanggal yung mga particles na yun. And then nilagay niya, tinap niya yung may mercury. Pagkatap ng mercury, may pagkalagay niya pagkapasok niya doon, after some time, we know mercury is a liquid metal. Okay? Iniwan niya, and then nakita niya na umangat yung level ng mercury. And then sinukat niya yun, sakto, that is 760 mm. Meaning to say, pat umangat yun? May something na tumutulak, which is the gas particles in the atmosphere. That's why it is called atmospheric pressure. Now here are the some conversions of the pressure. One atmospheric pressure is equal to 760 mm mercury. One millimeter mercury is equal to one torr. So we could say na okay, so pwede siyang i-convert. One, one atmospheric pressure is equal to 1,325 pascals. In scientific notation, we have 1.01325 times 10 raised to 5 pascals. 1 kilopascal is equal to 1,000 pascals. And 1 atmospheric pressure is equal to 1.01325 times 10 raised to 2 kilopascals. So, these are the sum of the conversions. Marami. Marami pang conversions. Let's see examples. Convert 749 millimeter mercury to atmospheric pressure. So, ang given, 749 millimeter mercury, gagawin mong atmospheric pressure. So, syempre, kung ano yung given, millimeter mercury, yung sa baba, ang unit is millimeter mercury, which is 760. Kung makikita mo dito, kada, okay, kada 760 millimeter mercury, may isang atmospheric pressure. Okay, pag tinagyan mo sa ating conversions, ayan o, no, isang atmospheric pressure is equal to 760 millimeter mercury, or 760 mm mercury is equal to 1 atmospheric pressure. Yun yung hinahanap natin, atmospheric pressure. So, hindi tayo naliligaw. Okay? Cancel. Okay? Sir, ba't mm mercury na sa baba? Kasi nga para makancel dun sa unit na mm mercury. Yan. And then, natitirang unit is atmospheric pressure. Hindi ka naliligaw. So, just do the basic math. 749 times 1 divided by 760. 0 0.99 atmospheric pressure. Same goes with this one. Okay. Kada isang atmospheric pressure, merong 760 mm mercury, yung unit. No, kaparehas yung nasa taas dito, yun yung lalagay sa baba para makancel, para matira yung unit na inahanap natin, which is ETM, atmospheric pressure. Now, the atmospheric pressure in San Francisco on a certain day was 732 mm mercury. What was the pressure in kilopascals? So, from millimeter mercury to kilopascals. We could do it here. Okay? May unit ka na millimeter mercury, convert it into ATM. When you convert it into ATM, okay, ATM, atmospheric pressure, atmospheric pressure, kada isang atmospheric pressure, merong 1.01325 times 10 raised to 2 kilopascal. Okay? Sir, pwede bang gamitin yung hindi... Scientific notation, pwede naman. Pareso ang magiging sagot. Which is equal to 97.6 kilopascals. Bakit 3 digits lang to? Kasi nga, 3 sig fig lang yung given natin. Yung sig fig yung given natin, 732. 3 sig fig. 3 sig fig. So, here are some of the practices. You may try it on your own. Okay, I leave it here. And we'll proceed to the next one. The kinetic molecular theory. Okay, the kinetic molecular theory includes many assumptions. Okay, how does the nature and how gases behaves? So we have gas part, we have the first assumption. Gas particles are so small, they are very, very small, or in volume they occupy. This is negligible compared to the volume or distance to the bit between them. So my kita nyo na, okay, assumes that all of this space is available of the molecules to move around. Parang may kita mo, may isip mo na, palaki ba tong mga particles ng gas kasi so napap masyadong na-occupy niya ng ganitong shape yung container any container may balloon pwedeng tire okay but in fact only okay this amount is available because of the rest is taken up by the volume molecules themselves so ganun siya kaliit but look at how they behave okay that's why they are very small okay because they are very small okay and okay, negligible compared to the volume or the distance between them we have the second assumption, gas particles are moving in random motion, colliding to each other and wall of the container. So, yung mga gas particles daw, 
okay they are moving random in motion up down left right okay and then they're colliding to the wall and then they colliding to each other okay walang pattern basta random okay collisions next assumption is that collisions are perfectly elastic no energy is lost okay so it's like pagabangga that okay sige lang okay elastic lang okay and we can see here that the third assumption intermolecular forces of attraction such as the attractive or repulsive is negligible so hindi siya gumagalaw yung mga gas particles hindi gumagalaw kasi ay wait lang ito meron tayo ditong ganitong charge na ano na gas particle dito tayo hindi okay hindi yan nag hindi yan gumagalaw kasi yan nag-repulse oops negative to negative hindi positive to positive hindi okay kundi talagang random siya gumagalaw okay they collide with the walls collide with each other it's elastic random now the last assumption is that average kinetic energy of a gas is directly proportional to its absolute temperature expressed in kelvin naka base to hindi sa degree celsius kundi sa kelvin the absolute temperature okay doon nakabase yung kanya average kinetic energy Okay, so we have here low temperature, low speed, low kinetic energy. Yung 0 degree Celsius, hindi pa siya yung ating absolute, okay, yung absolute na, okay, na parang, mat, na parang matigas, hindi na gumagalaw yung isang particle. But actually, yung mga bubbles doon sa loob ng yellow, yung spaces between them, is because nakakagalaw pa kahit pa paano yung mga particles ng gas natin but mababa na lang yung kanilang kinetic energy that's why there is bubble okay so kapag ka mababa ang temperature mababa ang speed mababa ang kinetic energy okay so that's it I hope it helps how to convert okay the units of pressure and how to describe kinetic molecular theory of the gases of particles thank you